Tonight's WGN investigates surviving supply chain issues after your car is damaged in an accident. More and more people are complaining about the same thing. Yeah, the insurance coverage is no longer enough as supply chain issues slow down a process. There's already a headache. Investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte introduces you to one woman who says something needs to change quickly. Well, imagine this, you get into an accident and later find out it'll take half a year, at least six months to get your car repaired. Lately, that's been happening a lot and the insurance policies meant to cover costs while you wait seem to no longer be enough. I have to get my kids to school and to activities. For Stacy Stone, what started as a minor accident quickly turned into a major headache. I am very afraid that there will be no resolution. Her trouble began back in early December when she crashed her Honda Odyssey into a parked car. Pulled out onto the road. I looked, I didn't see anybody. Fortunately, no one was injured, but her minivan was mangled. And the front wheel was bent in entirely. It was towed to this body shop in suburban countryside. The cost to fix it, $13,000 and a three-week wait. I was, in fact, surprised it wasn't totaled outright. As a single mom, Stacy depends on that minivan. Luckily, she has insurance, which covers the majority of the repair and up to $1,500 for a rental car. I'm healthy and, you know, it's stuff. Stuff can be replaced. So she thought. But global supply chain issues have overwhelmed just about everyone and everything, from toilet paper to furniture to car parts manufactured overseas. Well, I don't see it really easing up anytime soon. I mean, Meet like Eddie Zipperstein, who owns Richard's Body Shop in Albany Park. In his 30 plus years of fixing cars, he says it's never been this challenging. Cars get clogged up, we get halfway through the car, we need one part and then the car just sits and you can't finish it. It's the reason he says his lot lining Lawrence Avenue is so full. All these cars here are waiting for repair. They're waiting on parts. <laughs> yeah, it's tough right now. I just got to be patient. But Stacy and others in her situation say they can't always afford to be patient. She was originally told her Honda would be ready December 27th, but the date was delayed, first to January 19th, then again to January 27th. Now they're telling her early May. And that's when I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> All of that brings us back to that insurance policy so many people rely on. A six-month wait means the $1,500 rental car coverage isn't nearly enough, so Stacy has had to improvise. So right behind me is my 2019 Nissan Pathfinder. She says it cost her less to buy a used car than to rent one until her other vehicle is repaired. So that's what she did. But I'm a single parent and I don't have parents or siblings or anybody who can like pinch hit, you know, like help me out. So I was definitely facing figuring this out on my own. An extreme measure to address what should have been an easy fix. And she's not alone. It's likely thousands of people around the country are in the same spot. Well, something has to change because the thing that you... Attorney Steve Pollack, an expert in insurance matters, has been looking into all of this. He says there is language in the state's insurance code to protect consumers from unreasonable delays. They have 40 days to pay a claim or repair a vehicle, but even that seems to be an empty rule. Well, it, they're only as good as the Department of Insurance chooses to enforce them. Here's a problem. The state's regulators rarely intervene in these types of cases. The insurance company could resolve this. They have a method to do so. They could pay it out as a total loss, take the vehicle, and then when the part comes back in, put it back in and resell it. Given what the market has done with the used vehicle prices, they'd probably end up making money. So far, it doesn't look like that will happen, putting Stacy and others like her on a road to nowhere. And in Illinois, there's no protection. It gets a horrible situation, and I hope collectively people can figure out how to make this better. 
At the start of the pandemic, the Department of Insurance sent a notice to insurance companies asking them to be more lenient with their policies. It's not clear right now if they'll issue those notices again. In the meantime, Stacy continues to wait. One option for consumers is to file a complaint with the Department of Insurance to see if anything can be done to address delays linked to that ongoing supply chain issue. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.